I became vegan when I was 15, a vegetarian when I was 11. I was born gay. <laughs> I grew up in a small rural community with a lot of homophobia. It's something that I encountered a lot, and I think that that's something that a lot of gay people go through on their own terms growing up and, and throughout life. So I think that our community understands oppression, and we understand um, being the, the center of unjustified hate and um, intolerance and being treated different because people perceive us as being different from them. And I think that animals are oftentimes uh, subject to oppression and exploitation because people consider them very different from us, even though in many important ways, they're very much like us and they deserve the same consideration. Equality and fairness and kindness and compassion that really is what I think all rights movements are based on, is just extending our circle of compassion beyond a certain sexual orientation or beyond a certain species or nationality. Whatever our background is, the animals need us to speak up and say no to their exploitation and oppression. It's really speaking truth to power and taking the side of the weak against um, the, the strong. For Many years we have been involved with gay rights festivals and marches and parades all over the country. We have activists marching behind a banner that says no one's free when others are oppressed and we pass out tens of thousands of brochures and people are really excited and grateful to see us there and I think it really helps people connect the dots. A few years ago I was um, the victim of a random hate crime in Ohio and I I was in the hospital and it broke a number of my bones and um, it was just a very traumatic experience. You really feel violated um, that somebody else was able to, to do this to you against your, your will. I thought a lot about how this translates into violence in our society towards other people and also towards animals. And when we talk about violence towards animals, there's no way but thinking and talking about farm animals because this is where the vast majority, 99 out of 100 animals that we use and kill or more are farm animals. And that these are animals that are subjected to misery and mutilation, having parts of their bodies cut off with without their consent, obviously, being crammed in cages where they can't move, being poked and prodded and beaten and punched onto transport trucks and then having their throats slit the slaughterhouses, all against their will, all while they're protesting, and really just because of who they are. It's because they're cows, they're pigs, they're chickens, and our society has decided to label these animals as food animals. It really goes back to our perceptions of others and then how that can affect uh, our behavior towards them and innocent individuals, whether it be gay individuals or, or animals or African Americans or women, um, being the, the target of violence and hatred and oppression. And it just, it has to stop. It's, it has no place in, in a civilized or ethical society. All gay rights activists, all activists for any cause or movement can directly be involved in protecting animals every time that they eat by adopting a vegan diet. That's, how, that's the best thing that we can do. We can live the message of compassion and mercy by not supporting these industries financially. That's the best step that we can do.